just to be cool too. Missionary with no phone to run to. Yeah, impossible. I'll be too cruising it. The inner circle, who's in it? Did you give in? That's where the lines stay blurred. Between what's real and what's fake concern. My frame of mind, it ain't right. I've learned. Stay insane, that's my main concern. So I look at the world through my fish eye lens. And everything seems much closer than it is up front. So put your brave face on. Cause there's a. Oh, Frederick, can you give me a hand here, please? Sorry, a little busy right now. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, please, don't stand on my account. Take a seat. I am very sorry for the delay. I also wish that I could say I wasn't going to keep you here very long, but this is a crisis talk, I'm afraid, and I need you all here. So, as you know, for some time now, I've been saying there's a storm coming. Today, the storm is finally upon us. The merger process with St. Francis is underway. Holby is in danger of being closed down. Some might say this is a sign of the times. The Trust Development Agency are sending their representatives along to assess our efficiency, and they are doing it today. Today? What, with no notice? I don't mean to be pessimistic, but what is the likelihood of us closing? Highly likely. Which is why we must show that we are at the top of our game by being consistently innovative pushing boundaries and taking calculated risks. We do this anyway, daily. It's never about what we achieve, it's about what the bureaucrats think. That may well be so, but today, we're going to have to justify our very existence. So, be bold, be creative, seek inspiration anew. And let me have your ideas, please. We could rearrange theatre sessions, get all the lengthy ones out of the way, make the afternoon seem like we're all speed and precision. We don't have the time to move it all around. We needed a head start yesterday. Beds. We get strict about reinventing beds for electives. Okay, well, hear me out. I mean, it's always a headline. Uh, it's where St. Francis always consistently score better than us. Because they haven't got an ED that sends overflow patients up onto the walls. Okay, what about... Instead of the consultant and anaesthetist consulting each patient separately pre-surgery, they save time by doing it together. Now, I think Mr. Levy is right about ring fencing beds, and I think Kello should be our battlefield. Yes, but uh, you sure be done on a show off Darwin, like we normally do. Fletch is right. I mean, if you want to put on a show, you hire a rock band. Darwin and Led Zeppelin, I'm just a pop band. Well, Kello is the ward where you see the most improvement. They have more patience, it's more achievable, and it's faster than Darwin. Faster is not better. My decision is Keller. Today I expect the best and brightest of all of you. And for you to keep this meeting entirely confidential. You sure you don't want to tell the others? Certainly. I want everyone to be focused, not distracted by all of this. Thank you. Right, Mr. Levy, let's see what we're dealing with, shall we? Sure about this? How long have we got to turn this around? Your guess is as good as mine. In which case, I should probably get stuck in. Cheers. I took your advice. I found a suitable candidate for the junior doctor prize. A neuroendocrine tumor. Well, I didn't really mean you to change the entire project. That was good advice. I have an HPP case scheduled for this afternoon. Well, then you'll have two opportunities to shine. We've got a team of VIPs coming to Keller who are going to see how we run things here. Fantastic. Excuse me, please. Mr. Copeland, your assistant's oh. here. Okay, okay. Good catch. I'm going to get someone to come and see you straight away, all right? Right, Mr. Levy, your work now begins in earnest. That bloke who caught me. So, Mr. Lazar, your case study, you're confident, are you? Yes. Uh, aside from the lymph nodes, my main concern is this new pain he's been describing. It could be a perforated bowel. Sounds like you're on top of it. Keep me informed, please. Mr. Levy, there are two more coming up from the ED. So, another two beds lost. Just have to find two more, won't we? That says you're the boss. Hanson, he called you. Dane? No, no, no. Swede. Very astute of you. That's my trade. Beer. You Svenkers might like jam on your potatoes, but beer's in your religion. I can get behind that. You're a brewer, are you? Craft. What do you have? Well, I can tell by looking at you it's not stout. I'm partial to lamb because it happens. Oh, dry. Sour. A bit fruity. Need to get something stronger inside you, I reckon. Look, uh, I don't suppose you know what's going on. I thought I'd be in surgery by now. Right, well, I'll find out. 
Where are we with Mr. Percival? Oh, but the Crohn's. Well, he's in for a hemicolectomy. There's a queue, and he's not urgent. Any more like this, and we'll have lost all the beds. Yes, I'm aware, Nurse Harrison. Thank you. Well, it's not the end of the world, right? Saved by the bell. So, Mr. Hamilton is ready for discharge. I'd like that bed empty and prepped within the next half hour, please. And I would like a little stronger resolve from you today, please, Mr. Levy. I have enough on my plate without rescuing you as well. I just... I don't like lying to them. It's an act of omission, not a lie. Yeah, sorry. If you can't get tough, would you like me to take over? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Right. What the hell are you doing? I wanted your advice on Mr. Lazar's surgery. But it's customary to wait outside someone's office until you're invited in, isn't it? You didn't think to let me know what was at stake? Of course I thought about it, but I decided against it. I will not make exceptions, all right? Well, I'm glad I found out. You shouldn't be doing all this on your own. The entire hospital on your shoulders? I assure you, all is well, and I have every faith in my staff. Arthur. You can be honest with me. I appreciate your concern, but not your lack of confidence. I can and will handle today in my own way. All right. I won't mention anything to the others. Thank you. The ED are starting to complain about the backlog. Well, ED cases will always take priority, whether we like it or not. If we want those beds, we're going to have to be stricter with our elective patients. Well, I might just pop down there and have a word with them, see if I can't charm them into doing us a favour. I had a word with a guy called Vic Crowther from St. Francis. He's a, he's a sort of friend of me of mine. A friend who's an enemy. Oh, yes, I do know what a portmanteau is. Well, they've heard about the merger, and they seem to think they've got the upper hand. I'm amazed you've got time for such gossip. Give me an hour. I shall find you three extra beds. You know, that could be a good thing. Think what the merger could change. Healthcare has to evolve. Well, this might be an opportunity for you. Well, the only opportunity I have is to stay here and do whatever I can to preserve this hospital. I'll go down with a sinking ship. If it happens, it's for a reason. You will stagnate if you stay in this place too long. I disagree. Why not go for something bigger? You should put your mark on the world while you have the chance. We both should. Get out before this place drags you down with it. Fortunately, he fits the bill. He's an elective. He's not urgent. All right, well, I'll speak to him. You sure? Oh, yes. Mr. Percival, I am so sorry for the wait. Bad news, isn't it? Well, of a sort. We're going to have to reschedule your surgery, I'm afraid. The demands on the ward today have exceeded our expectations and more urgent cases have taken priority. Well, I suppose you wouldn't do it unless you had to. You've always done great by me in the past. I'm very glad to hear it. Normally, you do a bang-up job. The tonsils, the big hernia that I had, and I dropped a barrel on my hoof. And even when I was here with my dad the end. He made time then. You let him you let him go with dignity. Well, my condolences. And my daughter was born here. Ah, I still owe you for that one. Nine out of ten, you're still good in my book. You make quite good use of this place, haven't you? <laughs> it's my local. Right. We both run locals. A bit of a struggle, though, keeping pubs going these days. Close more of mine than yours. Uh, things come up. Can't be helped. No. Well, I promise we will reschedule as soon as we can. I know. And thanks for trying, yeah? You're welcome. Right, we're back on track with the beds. What next? 
I don't know. Come in. Just wanted to see if you were okay. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I think the patients deserve it more than I do. I just know that you have a lot on your mind today. It can't just be about them. So what's the point of trying to preserve all this if we're not going to treat them with attention and care? Well, that's what we're aiming to do. And where have we gone wrong, do you think? We need to go further. Not just do something that St. Francis aren't doing. Do something no one's doing. Go on. I've been looking into Saint. Post-surgical accelerated independence using novel technology. I'm familiar with the concept, yes. I think we should do it. I think it would be groundbreaking. You don't think it might be a little risky to launch a new practice under such scrutiny? I think risk is what we should be doing. We haven't got the novel technology, have we? No, not yet. We don't, but we could implement the recovery practices today and then order in the biosensors if we get approval. And the other great advantage is we can use the side bay. You know, there's no more worrying about available beds. This is just an idea at the moment. Yes, but it's a great idea. We should be doing it to move with the times, not just because it looks good, not just because we meet targets and money, it's because it's what's best for the patients. We won't have to send any elective patients away. When they come here for surgery, they get it. All right, but what makes you think we can take to this any better than what we've done so far today? You need to tell everyone what they're fighting for. And then they will see that I've failed them. No, you're the best man for the job. You know, we all know that. No, they will see that I've tried to hide the truth. And they'll appreciate the honesty all the more. No more rumours. Maybe it's... Maybe it's good to show that you're human. Just like the rest of us. I'll let you into a little secret. I spent a lot of time today thinking, what would Mr. Griffin do? What would Miss Campbell do? I should have been thinking, what would Sasha Levy do? People like pubs. People like pub bands. Don't ever sell yourself short. Gather the troops, please. Yes, sir. What, is it his birthday or something? You don't think this is about Rick? Nah. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is a merger proposed between St. Francis and Holby City. This will only affect the surgical wards, not ED. Which hospital are they going to close? I can't say for certain. Well, I think we need to know, Mr. Hanson. Well, yeah, what does that mean for us? Well, it's not a fait accompli. And clearly we do not wish to compete with our peers at St. Francis, but we're going to have to, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, they face the same challenge as we do. There are no winners. I can't believe this. We are here to serve the public. And today we are proposing a trial run of Saint on Keller Ward. That means there will be more people getting the surgery they need. Expect more of this in the future. What future? Yes. Yes. Mark my words, there will be a future for us all. You're needed, you see. Underappreciated, I agree, but at the same time, you're the most important people in the world. And you are the best our NHS has to offer. 
and on behalf of all the people who forget to say it, I thank you. Thank you for all you've done and for everything you will continue to do. Okay, everyone. You know what to do. 110%, same as we manage every day. Let's get to it. Mr. Percival, has he been discharged? Uh, he was leaving before we went to the meeting. Don, can you find him and can you ask him to come back for me? Okay, good. Are you sure Mr. Percival fits the bill? If I can perform an intracorporeal anastomosis instead of a typical hemicolectomy, I'd cut his recovery right down. I mean, he's a great example of what we could do, as long as I could get the rest of the tech. Mr. Lee, the schedule's changed for this afternoon. I thought I'd be operating in front of the assessors. It's nothing major. I'll be going in with Dominic and Ted, and if all goes well, then it'll be you, Nina, in your case study afterwards. With the assessor still here? Absolutely. Don't worry about it. The ED said they'll do all they can for us this afternoon. Anything else I can do? Let's keep it up, Nurse Harrison. We're good to go with Mr. Percival. That's perfect timing. The assessors have just arrived in reception. Oh, um, just gonna just gonna put on some more deodorant. Right. We'll be back in a bit. So, a change of plan. After Mr. Percival, I'd like you and Ms. Carnick to focus on a shorter procedure, not the hepato pancreato biliary you've scheduled. Well, I was... I just thought I'd have a chance to do my case study in front of the trust. That's a great visual, the body opened up like that. Precisely. Why we can't fit it into the afternoon schedule? It takes too long. We could treat two, perhaps three patients in the same time. But uh, I would like you to be in theatre with Mr. Levy, please. Oh, of course. Anything to help. Thank you. Typically, the bulk of this procedure is external. But today, we're carrying out an intracorporeal anastomosis. So repair and join all take place inside the patient. This way, we reduce the recovery time, which makes uh, Mr. Percival here eligible for saint monitors freeing him up to be discharged within the desired 23 hours, whilst allowing us to keep a close eye on his health. We have a perforation. Suction, please. Because you can. We've got contamination. Should we convert to open and wash out? All right. Signal quadrant. And keep going. Thank you. Excellent work, Mr. Copeland. So, after this, the patient would be moved to a recovery bay for routine checks. Now, the advantage of a dedicated bay, which doesn't need to be staffed 24 hours a day, means never losing beds to other emergencies. Mr. Johansson, can you retract from me, please? Within 23 hours, they're free to go home, with a sensor. So, hospital and patient alike can monitor their progress. I'll be on speed dial, basically. We'll be the first hospital in the country to roll this out. It's the next big step. All right. Put that in front of me, please. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well, thank goodness I put on the extra deodorant. So? So, I think we all owe Mr. Levy a debt of gratitude. His saint pitch impressed as much as your deft hand in theatre, Mr. Copeland. You should take some credit too, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather congratulate you all. Thank you. Right. What's next? Well, today was just the beginning. The pressure is now on us to deliver what we promised. Bring it on. Come in! Wagner. 
Yes, I can fault the man, but I can't fault the music. Mr. Percival's daughter dropped by to visit him. She brought you this. Ah. Oh. It's the jewel in their crown, apparently. Barrel age. Well, you can stay and share it with me if you like. I uh, got a lot to do in the long drive home. All right. See monumentum recurris kukumskike. You know what that means? Sir Christopher Wren's son wrote it in dedication. If you seek his monument, look around you. Very nice. I'll um, leave you to it. Frederick, I know you're hurting. You must miss your family very much. I hope that Zara reaches out to you soon. Now, I know you're the boss, but are we going to get into trouble for this? Well, I won't tell if you don't. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, it's barrel aged, apparently. Mm. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Off the record, between you and me, do you think we'll make it? Well, we did our absolute best, and anyone would be hard-pressed to top that. See, I need people like you, Mr. Levy, not to rally to my side, but to challenge me. To steer me back to what matters most. I don't really want blind devotion. I need someone to tell me when I might be wrong. Well, you have my word. Good. And there's hope.